Chips on the Grill, sponsored by Food City and Dale Seasoning. July is National Picnic Month, and what a better way to have a picnic than with a good old-fashioned certified Angus beef burger. Yeah, you can put on mustard, ketchup, onion, and things like that, but we're going to take our burgers in a slightly different direction. Today, we're going to do a hot pepper pineapple burger. Now, one thing about a hot pepper pineapple burger is you can adjust the level of hotness. So we've gotten a pretty nice, good hot pepper. So what you want to do is dice this up. Very finely. And if you don't really want it as hot, take a lot of the seeds out. If you want it to have that extra little bite, leave some of the seeds in. Another really good, but maybe a little bit unusual topping for a burger get a nice bell pepper. Another great topping for beef, and especially for a good burger, is a fresh slice of avocado. Now, here's the secret ingredient I like in this particular burger sliced pineapple. That's right, sliced pineapple. The sweetness of the pineapple will help offset and accentuate at the same time the heat of the chili pepper we've got. You can't beat this flavor. And yeah, we're going to put cheese on it. Yeah, we're going to have cheese on the burger. We're also going to have cheese in the burger. The front two burgers we have seasoned well with some of the ingredients you saw a moment ago and put in a good, healthy dolloping of blue cheese. And we've already patted these out. The ones here in the back, while they're still seasoned, we'll leave those a little more traditional. Grill's ready, burgers are ready. Let's see what happens. You may recall a while back we did a little secret called the Papaw Burger. Let me show you how that works. You get the delicious, steamy taste of a bun. What you want to do is take a piece of cheese, whichever kind you like, put it on the burger. We're going to dress up all of these. Then you want to put the top part of the bun on each of these, okay? Shut it again just for a couple of seconds if you want. Here's where your timing comes into play on this, all right? We've got a big Ziploc baggie. So what you want to do, scrape it, do that, put your spatula down, and put it in the baggie. After the burgers have steamed for just a few seconds, take it off. You see how the cheese is kind of melted into the bread? That is picture perfect. Then put on your alternate toppings. Pineapple, like we talked about a moment ago. Maybe a little bit of orange or green bell pepper. Let's get a little bit of avocado here. And we're going to top it off with just a few little pieces of pepper. And just because we can, one more piece of our delicious sharp cheddar cheese. That is a burger. Serve it up with a side order of salad or french fries if you prefer, a big old glass of sweet tea, and you have got a picture perfect hot pepper pineapple burger. I'm Chip, and that is Chips on the Grill. Chips on the Grill, sponsored by Food City and Dale Seasoning.